my computer is finished with running simulations and let's see what the computer says the World Cup uh, will go. Just uh, beforehand, how did I come up with these numbers? I took the FIFA rating, I took the ELO rating and I took an average of bookmakers odds to make a combined rating. So uh, if you think anything is off, it's, it could be partly due to my modeling, but I think it's mainly based on these three quantities. And it might be that the FIFA rating is the one that really uh, spoils everything just a slight bit. But um, I still think those numbers are quite informative. You might disagree, you may agree, may help you with your last minute uh, filling in of your prediction sheet. So let's get right to it. Um, group A, we see that uh, Uruguay ahead of Russia, ahead of Egypt, ahead of Saudi Arabia. Uruguay is expected to make up around six points. Russia uh, just a good point ahead of Egypt, which is ahead of Saudi Arabia. It has 80% qualifying for Uruguay, almost 60% for Russia. So those two are the teams to go through. Um, again, Mohamed Salah's injury does not feature in these ratings, they would be with him or without him, uh, would remain the same. Maybe the feature just a tad bit uh, with the bookmakers out, so uh, should be careful. Similarly, I made yesterday the video about the Spanish coach being fired. Uh, the ratings, the odds were adjusted slightly uh, for Spain, but the impact is not as severe. But Spain did drop if you go to my blog and look at the previous um, prediction that I made. So we have 81% Spain qualifying, 75% Morocco, uh, Portugal, so those two are very close. A little bit surprising that Iran is ahead of Morocco, but then Iran had actually a much uh, better qualifying campaign and they have been making steady results, so it makes some sense. But those teams are very close, those two are very close. Those two should go through according to the ratings. Um, group C, uh, now there's a little bit more of a distance between Peru and Denmark. So uh, the computer favors Peru over Denmark, France remains a firm favorite, Australia should be bottom of the group. Uh, group D, similarly, Argentina over, Croatia over, Iceland over, Nigeria. If you think the Iceland rating is inflated, it is mainly because Iceland played a really good qualification, had a really good Euro tournament and doesn't make many mistakes. So they are very solid, which is something we cannot really say for Nigeria. Uh, Croatia has slightly better rating and therefore has a 60% chance almost to qualify for the second round. Argentina 80% although as we all know I personally wouldn't surprise if uh, Argentina crashes out at the group stage. I also wouldn't be surprised if they win the World Cup. I think it's the only team where I can truly say that. Uh, Argentina for me is the black box. Not a black box is Brazil who is supposedly supposed to win the group easily, I mean, a 90% qualification chance. Uh, they are only slightly lower to Germany because they have a slightly tougher group uh, with Switzerland, Serbia and um, Costa Rica in there. Switzerland has better ratings, therefore they are supposed to be the second place team. 57% uh, chance of qualifying is also not that bad. Group F, uh, again, it's actually quite close one and it is interesting to me. I already said that I find groups A and uh, H are very similar, group G and B, C and D and E and F and it's very surprising that both top favorites have actually quite some tricky groups, not groups that will make them miss the second round but a group that is maybe forces them to be a little bit more competitive right from the beginning which could uh, be a disadvantage in the later stages of the tournament. So we have here Germany, Mexico, Sweden, Korea. Um, Sweden and Mexico are relatively close but uh, we still favor the Mexicans to go through. Group G as I said is very similar to Group B. It's very close between England and Belgium and it's very close between Tunisia and Panama so at least 75% chance for England to go through so that should be um, how group G goes and I personally cannot see either one of these two not going through. Uh, group H may be the closest of them all. If I look at the top uh, expected point total, this is the lowest one. 
uh, Colombia ahead of Poland, ahead of Senegal, and just a quick look, Senegal, ah, Denmark is a little bit higher. Um, Senegal has a pretty high expected points total for um, the for a third place team, also 41% chance of qualifying, still the odds on favorites are Colombia and are Poland. So this is how the group stage will go. Let's look at the upper half of the bracket, right here. Yeah. Let's take Spain in here as well. So it would set up the Uruguay place, Portugal, where Portugal is a favorite. And again, this is the most likely scenario. Um, during the tournament, I will run simulations with maybe a smaller simulation number. So it might be a little bit more variability there. But the, uh, we will see how things might change up. But this is the expected tournament. Uh, if everything goes as planned, if there are no upsets, this is how it's supposed to go. So we have Portugal is a favorite over Uruguay, France is a favorite over Croatia, they will meet in the quarterfinal, but France is a favorite, makes it to the semifinal. Uh, in the second bracket, Brazil is of course heavily favored over Mexico. Um, it is the runner-up of Group F and the runner-up of Group E are scheduled to play Germany and Brazil, the top favorites, so you're really kind of boxed in. Uh, sorry, Mexico, it really doesn't look like you're going to make it out of the uh, second round for uh, the umpteenth time in a row. Uh, then, uh, kind of an intriguing matchup, which I honestly, if this really would happen, would expect to be boring, but it is intriguing, because Belgium, Poland, those are two uh, European sides that are deceivingly uh, are deceiving and are probably quite strong. Um, I will still agree with the computer Belgium should be uh, the favorite and then to go through and would meet then Brazil if everything uh, goes as planned. Uh, Brazil moves on against France where they're also favored. Uh, I think this would be a tricky matchup for Brazil. Now, lower half of the bracket. We have Spain scaled to against Russia. Uh, Russia should make it out of the group stage, but I don't see them go any further unless Spain is really upset by Morocco. Then maybe Russia has a chance uh, if they make first place by some luck. Uh, if something gets rolling, maybe there's a chance, but I really don't see Russia going further than the second round. Uh, very intriguing matchup, Argentina-Peru. Um, I think Peru could cause some serious trouble for Argentina. Computer, of course, favors Argentina, which would then play against Spain. Um, nice storyline, uh, Messi against his uh, chosen country to the He's living and against many of his clubmates and some of his arrivals from Real Madrid and Spain to go through to the semi-final. Again, this is the computer at the moment. I personally think Spain will not even go that far. I would actually favor Argentina and Iran, but uh, we will see how it develops over the tournament. And then um, another <laughs> interesting one, but shouldn't be a problem for Germany, Germany against Switzerland and Colombia against England is also a very intriguing matchup. England is favored here, setting up a uh, Germany-England clash. And I have to say, uh, except for Brazil versus Belgium, the particular quarterfinal, that's a re uh, match of the Euro 16 final, also intriguing because many Portuguese are living in France. Germ uh, Brazil, Belgium is maybe the one that does not um, have an immediate history. Spain, Argentina has a lot of history, and I think there's no more history than uh, Germany, England, at least among those four. So, semi finals, we already said France versus Brazil, Brazil to go through. Spain against Germany, Germany goes to go through, and now Brazil is uh, favored over Germany to win it all. Third place, according to uh, the model, goes to Spain. So this is the most likely outcome. Now, how likely are teams to actually win the tournament? We can go up here, and here in bra uh, brackets are the changes in spots. Uh, Brazil now leapfrog Germany with a very impressive uh, friendly streak and also the bookmakers have been uh, going heavily on Brazil and not as heavily on Germany. Spain has dropped a little bit. I think there might be a little bit more effect coming now. Argentina is, uh, is fourth, France fifth, Belgium sixth, they flip-flopped. Uh, 
Portugal and that is where I would draw the line. I think among those seven nations, you probably will see it. Um, of course, we, there's a big drop off here and uh, below one or two. So Germany, Brazil on the very top. Then I would say second favorites go into Portugal and everything thereafter is, I think, with no, uh, not high chances at all. Uh, England, Uruguay, um, Colombia, Poland, Switzerland, Croatia and Peru make it above the 1% mark. Um, but there was only flip-flopping between Switzerland and Poland. Denmark and um, Mexico complete the first 16, although Denmark again cannot because they play in the group with uh, Peru. That's where Russia slides in. Then there was a lot of flip-flopping on the lower stage. Saudi Arabia is not at zero anymore, it's zero, zero point one. Uh, so I leave this up for just a few that you can find your favorite team. And I hope you will enjoy the games. I am thinking of giving you my personal should go wrong prediction uh, later. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.